Hi, my name is Elder. Welcome to the demo of the Minimalist Blocks Library for Blocks 5. In this video, I will tell you what Minimalist Blocks Library is. I will show you how to install it, how to use it using two different workflows and how to keep it updated. Minimalist Blocks Library is a collection of many hundreds of beautifully pre-designed and pre-optimized sections which you can mix together to create any type of web page or multi-page websites. And you can choose from different type of libraries, completely unstyled, which will give you the full control over the style, or styled in dark or light versions, which will help you save many, many hours or may maybe even days when you build websites in Blocks 5. To use Minimalist Blocks library, you will need Blocks 5.1 or newer. And when you purchase it, you will get this type of archive. And depending on wherever you get the styled or unstyled version, you will have a different amount of files inside. So let's unzip this one. And to install it to your computer, you just go to Blocks, Window, Extension Manager. It will quickly check for the updates. And once it's ready, you can click on the plus icon. You can go to the folder here, select all of the sections, all of the files you will have here and click open. And depending on what computer you use, this might take a while from few seconds to few minutes. So be patient. So it took about four minutes for me. After it is installed, you can close this extension manager. And now if you click new, you will see that there is minimalist library 1.0 beta available in the list of site templates and again this is the site template you will need to use every time you work with this library so let's click on this and there's obviously nothing to preview just click use template and you can actually close this because i will show you how to edit it inside the project anyway so inside the project if you go to the page navigator you will see the style guide here and there is nothing too difficult about this uh, because it is very easy to use but there are a few things which i will cover in a second basically showing you how to change the typography for the whole project how to change the global primary colors and so on so now after you installed it you will see that when you click on the plus icon here to add new blocks and in the top left corner we have now an option to choose between the libraries and if you got the unstyled one you will have this library here hundreds of beautifully pre-designed sections and these ones are unstyled giving you the full control of how to style them and in addition to that we have light version of the same sections and we have dark version as well of the same sections so let me first show you how to use unstyled so let's assemble the web page and if you want to preview you can click on this eye icon here and it will give you the closer preview of the custom block as you can see it is much easier to preview it this way So this is a workflow for advanced designers who prefer to style the websites themselves. And as you can see here, we assembled very good looking page, but of course everything is without any style and everything is optimized for all devices. As you can see for mobile, for all four breakpoints, everything will work great, but everything is not styled. So without going further, let's create a new page and we will call this styled so here i will switch between the dark and light libraries starting with dark and let's assemble another page and this time it will be styled and of course we can kind of mix them so let's switch from from dark to light and let's say that we want to add something in between these two sections, maybe this one. Uh, 
and let's finish this footer. As you can see, there are a lot of sections to choose from, and the beautiful thing is I will add more every single month. So we have some kind of page here. We can import our images, of course, change all of the images. If you want, you can delete the button here, or let's say you don't want to have this uh, subtitle here, you can easily delete it as well. We can change all of the icons, text, well, obviously you can change everything here. We can select any section and manually change the color to be exactly what you want. So maybe here we want to have a little bit different color for that. And after you are ready, you can go to preview and preview these two pages. So style guide, home will be the unstyled version of our page. As you can see, there is nothing really, no style at all, just the structure. And styled one will have all of the all of the colors already applied. And you can of course customize them. I will show you how to do that in a second. There are a bunch of advanced custom blocks as well, for example, like these FAQ sections. So let me show you a few very cool things you can do with this the style guide. So first of all, you need to use the site template, which I started this project from, to start all of your projects, because it has all of the styles inside. Next, the global colors, I will show you, I will explain how to change the global primary colors. And to do that, you can click on Global Swatch Manager here in the sidebar, or you can go to any of the styled pages, select any of the styled elements, and here you will have an option to, of course, open the Global Swatch Manager. So let's change this to orange so primary let's say this is our brand and primary variant should always be the lighter version of this primary color so i will have the same orange but i will make it a little bit closer to yellow so it is a little bit better visible on darker darker blocks so by just changing that unstyled version will be exactly the same but styled version as you can see, all of the buttons, even like hover effects, all of the subtitles, all of the little icons, everything is now following the new brand colors we have just set using the primary color. As you can see, everything is beautiful. We have this beautiful animation here, like that. So in addition to color, we can also change the global typography. Let me show you how to do that. So if you open the class manager to change the global typography settings, you need to first of all edit this first class here. If you go to typography settings, you can choose the font and you need to select the font this regular weight. So it might be regular, might be 400 or in some cases 300. So let's change it to something like Meriwether, very different. And again, you can use local fonts or Google fonts, it's up to you. So I will select Meriwether Lite as my global font. As you can see, many things already changed. But in addition to that, we need to find bold. So let's find bold class, open it. And here I will change it to Meriwether well, Black. And now all of the bold text on our website is now using the Meriwether Black. And this is actually very important. If you want to style something, if you want to make something bold, you need to just select the element and add the class bold. Keep that in mind. And finally, we can change BTN. BTN will change the font for all buttons. So if you want, you can also change, let me show you this button, you can see right now, by default, we'll use the regular font weight, but you can change this to Maybe let's say bold, extra bold, black will be too much, but bold I think will look okay. So just by changing these few classes, we can go to not styled version. And as you can see, everything typography wise is now using Meriwether. And our beautiful mega menu here as well. You can see that all of the text is now Meriwether beautifully designed, looking great. If we switch to the styled version, same story here, you can see all of the text is now Meriwether. 
All of the bold text is Meriwether Bold. Looks great. So in addition to that, we have one more thing, which is the global corner radius settings. And we can use the same class we used for buttons, btn, to change the radius for all buttons. So let's go to the third tab in class editor. And here we have the radius section. Let's type whatever you want. You can type 28 to make them completely round like this or something like 10 to make it just a little bit rounded. I think this will look great with this type of font. And after doing that, you will see, especially in the styled version, that all of the buttons now are rounded and beautiful. But sometimes you can see that this field is not rounded. For example, the video is not rounded. These like cards are not rounded. To change them, we need to find another class which is the global radius. So by typing global and going to the third tab in our class editor and typing the same 10. And this time you need to go to the rules and check the important. By doing that, now if we go to, well, even the unstyled version, you will see that all of the elements now have rounded corners, the cards, videos even model is now using the rounded corners so let's go to the styled version to take a look as you can see cards even the form fields images like uh, tails the like cards for their testimonials here our pricing tables well this one is not using any rounded corners buttons of course fields in our form everything is now using the rounded corners very cool so let's say that you want to have rounded corners but not on all elements well you can easily go to every element which you do not want to use the rounded corners with and delete this global radius class from this element at the same time let's say you added some element which does not have the rounded corners you can select it and add the class global radius and it will add the unified global corner radius to this element. So after you've done setting up the style for your project, you can delete this page and just complete your website and publish it, of course, changing all of the content, all of the text and everything. So, and this is how you use minimalist blocks library. It's very easy. Once you set the style, every new block you will add will be using the new style. So for example, if we go here and add for example, let's add some new header here. Let's say I want to have this header. You can see that it is already using the same typography, the same brand color, and everything looks great. Finally, I wanted to show you how to update your library. To do that, you just need to go to Window, Extension Manager, download the updated library, which I will provide on the 28th of each month. And then you just go to Plus, select all of the elements again click open and blocks will automatically add all of the new custom sections but at the same time it will also update the existing ones if i issue some updates to fix the bugs maybe to improve the optimization or just to improve the overall design which i will continue to do to keep all of the sections modern and well up to date because i learned some new things and I will include all of that, all of my new ideas, all of my new techniques into Minimalist Blocks library. And this is the product I will use to deliver all of the custom sections, which some of you might ask me to design. For example, if you saw some great page on Apple website, and if you are a member, you can just let me know that, Elder, please, I need this to use on some of my websites. Can you design it? And I will be happy to do my best to design pretty much every beautiful page you might think of and include it in this minimalist blocks library the unstyled version is obviously the best uh, way to go for more custom projects like this but even the styled ones you can pretty much customize to anything you want you will just have 85 or 90 percent of the work already done for you for every project by the way some of the elements here are not pretty straightforward and use some custom techniques for example 
let's say this uh, FAQ section, as you can see, there is no answer. You cannot see the answer. So in this case, you will select the question link and under this, there will be the paragraph text, which you will need to temporarily remove the collapse class, change that, change the text here and then add the collapse class again. And I provide the detailed um, guideline how to do that to each of these blocks, which will have something more difficult like this. But in addition to that, I will also provide the video guideline, which will show you how to do all of that. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy using this minimalist blocks library. I have decided to make it very affordable and it is actually free for all existing Blocks Master members. So good luck in your next project and enjoy using this minimalist library for Blocks 5.